Hi guys, welcome to my channel Code It. In this video, I will show you how to set up GA4, that is Google Analytics 4. So all of you might be getting this particular message when you open Google Analytics Universal Account and it tells you to set up Google Analytics 4 before July 1, 2023. So what Google is doing is that it is stopping the Universal Google Analytics and they will be focusing only on Google Analytics 4. That means users will not be able to track any website activity on Universal Google Analytics. So they can only track on Google Analytics 4. First, let's see how to migrate from Universal Google Analytics to Google Analytics 4, that is GA4. So once you open the Universal Google Analytics, you are going to get a similar kind of message. Now you need to click on go to setup assistant. So once you click on it, you are going to get a page called Google Analytics for property setup assistant. Over here, you will need to set up your Google Analytics 4. So guys, if you see, I have already set up Google Analytics 4 for my website. So what I'll do is that I'll disconnect this. So let me disconnect this and I'll set up again and I'll show you how to do it. So guys, if you see, there is an option called I want to create a new Google Analytics 4 property. So and there's also one more called I want to connect an existing Google Analytics 4 property. So if you have set up an already Google Analytics 4 property, then you can use it. So now let's create a new Google Analytics 4 property. So we'll have to click on this particular get started button. Then we'll get a pop up over here which says create a new Google Analytics 4 property. And it tells us this setup assistant will create a new GA4 property. This will keep your original Universal Analytics property unchanged. So whatever your Universal Analytics 4 Universal Analytics has, it will remain same and it will not change. Copy basic settings from your UA property. So whatever your settings are there in your Universal Analytics, the settings, same settings will be copied over here. And you can change it later on also. Then there's an option called this setup assistant can also enable data collection using existing analytics JS and GTEx. So whatever, the currently you might have set up a script on your website, which is the tracking code of the universal analytics. So you can use the same particular code also. But the Google Analytics 4 has one extra tag. I will show you later on when we uh, when we'll get an option to copy the new code of GA4. So let's create this particular option. Like I'll click on create property. Now a new Google Analytics 4 property will be created. So now if you see, it shows us a new property of the universal uh, Google Analytics 4. Now a website has been successfully linked to the GA4. Now let me show you to create a new Google Analytics 4 setup. For that, I'll navigate to the home page of the Google Analytics. So guys, if you see, currently I am on the home page of Google Analytics and I'm already signed in from my Google account. And there's an option over here which says start measuring. We need to click on this. So as soon as we click on it, we'll get an option for creating a new Google Analytics account. So it asks us for account name. Then we have some settings which says account data sharing settings. So you'll have to select this option as per your requirement. So let me give a account name. So I'll say audit. And now I'll click on next button over here. Then we have a property name option. So we have to give a name for our property. I'll say code it GA4. I'll say then 
you can select the time zone and also you can select the currency so i'll select indian rupee and i'll select the time zone as india so i have already selected now now click on next button so it will ask you for some more details like your industry so select as per your requirement so i'll say uh let's say other business activity and i'll say small for my business size i'll click on next then they tell you to choose your business objective so what is the objective of your business like to generate leads then to drive online sales or to raise brand awareness or to examine user behavior or get baseline report so i'll say generate leads so you can select this as per your business requirement and then you need to click on create button over here then you have some google analytics terms of service agreement so you need to click on this particular checkbox over here and you'll also have to select your country so my country is india so i have selected this so agreement depends upon the country where you reside and you need to click on i accept button and then a new account and a property will be created for google analytics now this is the option where google analytics will start the data collection so depending on the platform like if you want to connect your website you have to select the web or you need to connect your android app or ios app then you'll have to select this particular options the advantage of using google analytics 4 is that you can track website android app or ios app so all the activities that happen on website or android app or ios app are the events and those particular events are tracked in google analytics 4 and google is shutting down the universal google analytics so since i'm connecting my google website i'll click on the web option so as soon as i select it i get a option which says set up data stream so and we have the website url and a stream name so you need to enter your website name over here so this option you are only going to get for the ga4 and not in the google analytics universal account and since google analytics universal account is already shutting down we not did not need to bother about it so then we'll give a name for our stream i'll say code it then we have an option called enhance measurement which says automatically measure interactions and content on your site in addition to the standard page view measurement and by default it is on so what it is going to do is that whatever activities that are happening on your website are called as events like when a user opens a page so that is a event of page view then it's over here and if a user scrolls your website then it is also an event any outbound link that has been clicked from your website that is also an event or even if your user is searching something on your website that is also an event so all those type of activities that are happening on your website are events so those are over here and by default they are enabled so i'll click now on this create stream button so this is going to create a new stream for us for the particular website and then you're going to get this particular screen which says your stream it shows us the stream name that is coded this name i had given for the stream and then you get an option called stream url this is the website url then you have the stream id and the measurement id so these fields are important and you can save it somewhere by taking a screenshot or later on also you can come in the settings of your google analytics for account and you can preview it also you are going to see the events that are happening going to be tracked on your website like uh page view scroll outbound outbound clicks and all if you want to create more events then you can click over here now let's see how 
now let now let's see where we can get the tracking code that we need to enter on a website so we need to click on this particular button which says view tag instructions so as soon as you click on it we are going to get a new screen which says install your google tag and guys this code is little bit different because in this code you are going to get the ga4 code also so this code you need to click on this copy button and then you'll have to go to your head page particular head section i'll say and of your website and you need to paste this particular script code or if you're having a cms like wordpress or shopify then you can go to the plugin and you can enter this particular tracking code in my previous tutorial i have already shown how you can set up ga4 for your shopify website so if you are using shopify website then you can refer my tutorial this is the, the previous tutorial and you can set up ga4 for it and you can do the ga4 migration from google analytics universal account so guys that's all in this video i have shown you how to set up a google analytics 4 account and i have also shown you how to migrate from google analytics universal to the google analytics 4 if you guys like my video then please go ahead and subscribe to the subscribe button down also press the bell icon to get all new notifications related to my new videos thank you